Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to discuss what is a computer program and what are all the fundamental steps involved in creating a computer program. That is the basic fundamental criteria for creating a computer program. Let's get started. So a program is a specific set of ordered operations for a computer to perform or in other words you can also tell that program is a set of instructions provided for a computer or a microcontroller for performing a specific or a set of specific task. So now let us try to understand what is a program and what is the basic steps involved in executing a program with an example. Assume that there is a person A and also a person B. Here the person A requires some specific task to be performed with the help of person B. So what he does is he is just picking up a piece of paper and writing down all the set of instructions and the required task to be performed with the help of those instructions and then he is passing that piece of paper to the person B. So in this example if you replace the person B with a computer or a microcontroller the piece of paper with the set of instructions is nothing but the program written by the person A for the computer or the microcontroller for performing a particular task. And in the earlier example, you can take a closer look that the set of instructions written by person A must be understandable by the person B because the person B is the one who is going to perform all the tasks required for the person A. So the person A is in need of writing all the instructions in a language which is understandable by the person B because the person B is the one who is going to perform all the task. So in the same way in this example the person A is required to use a standard programming language such as C, C++, Java for writing the set of instructions or the program for the computer for executing a particular task. So in the earlier example, once the piece of paper is received by the person B, the person B as the first step, what he does is, let's for example, he is just checking the set of instructions and he is finding some errors in the set of instructions. So what the person B now does is, he is just giving back the set of instructions to the person A and then rectifying all the flaws or errors found in the set of instructions and then he is getting back the set of instructions for performing the particular task. In the same way, in this case, the computer or the microcontroller here is not capable of finding the flaws in the program. In this example also, there must be a person or a tool which is required for rectifying the errors written in the program, right? So that tool is nothing but a compiler. So if you take any programming language, for example, C, C++, Java, there are n number of IDEs available for each of the programming language. IDE is nothing but Integrated Development Environment, which is useful for developing your own user program. So if you take C, there are n number of IDEs and if you take C++, there are n number of IDEs and so on. So for each IDE, there will be a thing called compiler. So this compiler is nothing but a program which is capable of reading the program written by the user for finding the errors in the program. So the compiler is nothing but another program which is capable of finding the errors found in the user program. That is the errors found in the program written by person A in this example. So compiler is also a program which is capable of finding errors in the program written by person A. 
once the compiler finds some error in the program written by person A, it will be throwing back the error to the person A or it will be showing the error to the person A so that the person A can rectify the error shown by the compiler. So by default, the compiler will be available in the IDE of the programming language that is the integrated development environment of the programming language itself and there are n number of IDEs available in this world for each and every programming language and you can use any of the IDE as per your convenience. And once the program is set to be fault free or error free then some tools will be used by the IDE for converting the high level program written by person A to machine level code. So the machine level code is nothing but zeros and ones which the microcontroller or the computer understands. Once the machine level code has been converted from the high level program that machine level code will be dumped to the computer or the microcontroller for performing the required task by the person A. So this is the basic flow of creating the executable file for the computer or the microcontroller. So I hope you understood what is a computer program, what is the basic flow for writing and creating program for computer or a microcontroller. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.